What's up guys, another bro talk. So basically this is gonna be a video about what I do for a living. Like the videos just started making money and it's not what I do for a living. One day maybe, I would love that. Um, but yeah, this is a video about what I do for a living. So basically I work in the legal um, can of scene, right? So I started when I was 13 years old working for my dad um, just doing all kinds of stuff like that, you know, like working in the mountains and doing it underground. And then, um, I got further involved as things progressed, you know, managing the farm, managing everything, managing processing, getting involved in other kind of aspects of it, you know, trying to like increase our profits and everything like that. Sorry, these lights are buzzing like crazy. Um, but basically it leads to me. So I started when I was 13. I'm about to be 28 this year, right? It leads to me starting in the legal scene as soon as it starts. You know, I was part of it during 215 days. Um, but yeah, so I get started in the legal scene as soon as that starts up. And uh, I start at the bottom level at a laboratory. So I told them, hey, I'm coming in here with like nine years of experience. I want to be put in a position to grow quickly. Yeah. So basically they did just that for me. So they put me at the bottom level. I started just basically in material preparation for extraction. And I told them that I wanted to be an extraction tech kind of, right? I told them I wanted to be an extractor. It was a higher paying job, more opportunities, blah, blah, blah. So basically I became an extractor. Um, one of my buddies was working as an extractor and he left the facility and I started working in that room. Um, within about three months, I was running the lab by myself and the lab was probably in the $1.5 million range, something in that. Very dangerous, uh, it was super critical CO2, which is now kind of a dead uh, craft in it, in it all. Um, basically, me having that job, I work all the way through COVID, blah, blah, blah. I get a new job down in the Bay Area and um, that job, I become a little bit more involved in the actual administrative side of things, right? So I start out as like a, a lab tech again and then I work my way into a lab lead and the research and development lead, right? Basically, that all just stemmed from my willingness and my desire to grow the company for my own personal security and my own personal growth and just out of loyalty for the company, right? In the process of doing all that, I learned a lot about Excel. I learned a lot about running meetings and metric and different kinds of R&D things like that. You know, it's just like all the processes from like proposal to, to closure of an R&D project, right? And actually like performing the experiments and logging all your data and everything like that. Um, I basically just, I mean, I knew what I knew from school, but like a lot of that I just had to learn hands on. So now, I'm working for some friends of mine. Um, they own five licenses in the greater Oregon area. And um, yeah, I am basically their metric and like production director. Um, I'd say I'm like one of their production directors and then metric director. So this is one of the bedrooms that we work in. Uh, I do want to say that I don't advocate the use of the of it honestly uh, I don't personally use it anymore I did a lot from like 14 to like 26 or something like that but honestly I wouldn't sit here and suggest that people use it because honestly it didn't really do that much for me personally and it just I don't know I don't think that it's a productive use of time I don't think it's really a productive thing to invest yourself in I mean, if you if there's nothing like keeping you from doing it, it's less harmful to your health than alcohol, but at the same time, I mean, to each their own, right? For me, it just makes me feel anxious now, and so I don't do it. But yeah, and then this is one of our flowering rooms. But yeah. So basically I just log a bunch of numbers and then we report them to the state through a system called metric. And that's pretty much it, you know? I mean, eventually I would love to just be full-time fitness, 
and get out of this space because to me it's, there's a lot of instability to it but for now i'm helping my friends and they're doing really well for themselves and everything's everything's pumping along you know um i don't know i think that a lot of people don't really think of this as being a real job i would challenge them to do it uh running a laboratory was definitely hard and it was definitely not something that most people would do um it's extremely dangerous uh, nearly a blue collar job aside from the fact that you had to also be good with computers um, but yeah it was like basically like a glorified mechanic slash plumber you know running like a machine that gets up to 4,000 psi and could level a city block so i don't know there was lots of uh, responsibility and yeah everything that i worked with was worth like a hundred thousand dollars or like you know you're handling jars that are worth ten thousand dollars all day long and the machine you're running is worth a million dollars that's like the world i'm from um but yeah sorry for all the background noise i'm uh, i'm walking to the office now <sighs> but yeah that's pretty much it um obviously like i said i would love to just do fitness stuff before too long here but uh until then we gotta we gotta pay the bills somehow and that's how i basically just track inventory i track the whole process from like harvest to the product being gone and then planting the plants and everything <laughs> again you know so yeah i hope that you guys got a little bit of enlightenment out of that and i hope that you don't think too much less of me for being in the space but it's just all i've ever known and it's what i'll continue to do until something can pay me better. Okay, guys, take it easy.